Hi. So uh, in this video, I'm going to demonstrate how uh, this uh, SBIT X with the version 3 software is really a dream machine for CW. And I don't say this lightly. Uh, there are a lot of features which I, as a QRP CW operator, have been demanding of a radio. Uh, and those are all in here. So uh, this is already pre-configured uh, in a little ways uh, in the sense that I have already got my call sign and my grid here all uh, entered into this and I've, we will explain how this is configured later on. But uh, if you see here and I'm going to, uh, I've, I've, I've just sort of, you know, zoomed in here a little bit. And you can see that there's a decoder which is working here. And uh, I can change the bandwidth of, uh, of this to, you know, even narrower. And you'll see that this is a slightly weak signal, but it has no ring to it at all. Uh, and you will see that it's decoding this now and we just the bandwidth is down to 100 hertz but still there is hardly any ringing which is uh, you know heard on the signal at all i've got three agcs here and right now the, it's set to agcs fast the span of the signal is actually uh, 2.5 kilohertz the, the key thing to a good decoder is you see that this blue the cyan colored line here uh, the signal should be centered on this and this is actually controlled by the pitch here the pitch control here so you might want to uh, you can actually reduce the pitch right and then I can change the step size here because I need to go in really close so now it's going to start uh, decoding again. Okay, I, I actually prefer to it to be about. Uh, sorry, I have, I'm using the wrong control here. I prefer this to be around 600 hertz personally. Uh, and let me just put this back. Okay, so uh, that's about decoding it, and you have to approximately get the speed at which it's coming you can be off by even 50 percent or so but just get the speed set right and the decode happens pretty well and there are a couple of things that i wanted to point out about decode you will see that at times instead of act the actual decode it's putting up dots and dashes so um, this is very useful because at times people run the dots and dashes of uh, of subsequent letters together uh, so you can visually make out what what was being sent, and this is assistive rather than uh, uh, than uh, a replacement for um, decoding by head. But I can keep seeing this to check whether I've been decoding properly or not in my head. So they are like trainer wheels for this, and uh, then um, this radio is absolutely silent, and I'll show you why that's so. Now this is the internal PCB of this radio and you will see that there are no relays at all, no relays. The transmit receive switching is completely silent and electronic. As a result, there is no noisy clanging of the relays when you go between transmit and receive. Now uh, let's look at how to transmit. So of course you have options like using the keyer here, okay, let me just move away from here and try this out so right now on I am on straight key which means if I do that here you can see this it's behaving like a straight key but I can actually change this to iambic B or iambic A so um, that's actually the key working but I'm not limited to the key at all and I can actually switch on the keyboard and use a soft keyboard to send 
uh, signal okay or I can just use my uh, a plugged in keyboard here and start typing from here let me do that okay here, here we go. so this is a keyboard which has been plugged in here through the USB here and you have, I could do that as well so let's go back to uh, the morning CW net which is happening on 70, uh, uh, 7015 and let me try calling in. Uh, before I do that I would like to explain these macros here. So what happens is that for example right now the, call, the, the net control is VU2TS a very famous DXer from India. Many of you, if you've had contacts with India on CW, must have heard him called V2TS. So I have added V2TS's call sign in my logger window. Okay. I'll show you that here in the meantime. Hang on. So this is what the macros look like. So on F4, it'll just star means my own call sign. And when I check in, it'll say the, the called. Uh, call sign this is my call your RST so and so thanks for the call how copy over uh, AR and K so that's F6 and on if I press F5 it will say QRZ etc etc about means you know um, it will basically introduce me my name is Farhan QTH Hyderabad rig is SBITX with a dipole so um, I can edit this for different contests or different kinds of work so let's just go back to the radio and see what's happening. So now he's responded back to me and he's about 5 and 7 today, 5 and 7 and I'll just wait for my own report once he gets back to me, he's also talking to Sebastian. Sebastian is probably on a on a skip from me, so I'm unable to copy him at all. Very weak signal. It's just too weak for me to copy right now. Even Ganesh's, uh, the net control is fading now, but I hope to be able to finish the contact with him. You'll see that the decoder is able to pick the signal off even with such noisy condition. Now he's gotten back to me. And either I can type here or I can just press check in and it will do all the check in.
that's true i was uh, not be able to log in for a couple of days uh, because uh, my father had expired but i'm here back again and i'm 599 so i'll put my phone as 599 here okay and btts is 579 okay so i'll just check in now So now it's picking up this 579 from here. And at this point, I can click on log and log this contact. So let me just see. Let's see if I can do that. Okay, he's going on to somebody else, so I don't have to do the call now. So uh, that's uh, about the wrap up for uh, the CW and. Uh, CW can also be operated remotely uh, through a web browser. So you could actually go to a, a computer which is connected to the same wireless LAN as this um, radio and operate it from there using the web browser. But we'll take that on another video. And uh, for the time being, it's 73. And I hope you like the video.